Trois-Rivières is a city in the Maurice administrative region of Quebec, Canada, located at the confluence of the St. Maurice and St. Lawrence Rivers, on the north shore of the St. Lawrence River across from the city of Bécancour. It is part of the densely populated Quebec City Windsor Corridor and is approximately halfway between Montreal and Quebec City. Trois-Rivières is the economic and cultural hub of the Maurice region. It was founded on July 4, 1634, the second permanent settlement in New France, after Quebec City in 1608. The city's name, which is French for three rivers, is named for the fact that the St. Maurice River, which is divided by two small islands at the river's opening, has three mouths at the St. Lawrence River. Traditionally, Trois-Rivières was referred to in English as Three Rivers, although in more recent decades it has been referred to as Trois-Rivières in both English and French. The anglicized name still appears in many areas of the town, bearing witness to the influence of English settlers in the town. The city's inhabitants are known as Trifluvians. Trois-Rivières is also the name of a territory equivalent to a regional county municipality of Quebec, coextensive with the city of Trois-Rivières. Its geographical code is 371. Together with the regional county municipality of Les Chenaux, it forms the census division of Francheville. The municipalities within Les Chenaux and the former municipalities that were amalgamated into Trois-Rivières formally constituted the regional county municipality of Francheville. Trois-Rivières is the seat of the judicial district of the same name. The Trois-Rivières metropolitan area also includes the city of Bécancourt which is situated on the south shore of the St. Lawrence River across the Laviolet Bridge. History for a long time, the area that would later become known as Trois-Rivières was frequented by Algonquins and Abenakis, who used it as a summer stopping place. The French explorer Jacques Cartier described the site while on his second journey to the New World in 1535. The name Trois-Rivières, however, was given only in 1599 by Captain Dupont Grave and first appeared on maps of the area in 1601. In 1603, while surveying the St. Lawrence River, Samuel de Champlain recommended establishing a permanent settlement in the area, which was finally done on July 4, 1634, by the Sieur of Laviolette. Additional inhabitants of the original city of Trois-Rivières include Quentin Morel, Sieur de Street, Quentin, Pierre Boucher, Jacques Leneuf, Jean Godefroy de Lintot, Michel Leneuf, Du Erison, Francois Hertel, Francois Marguerite, René Robineau, and Jean Sauvaget. The city was the second to be founded in New France and, thanks to its strategic location, played an important role in the colony and in the fur trade. The settlement became the seat of a regional government in 1665. Ursuline nuns first arrived at the settlement in 1697, establishing the first school and helping local missionaries to Christianize the local aboriginals and Emiacute TIs. French sovereignty in Trois-Rivières continued until 1760, when the city was captured as part of the British conquest of Quebec. Sixteen years later, on June 8, 1776, it was the theatre of the Battle of Trois-Rivières during the American Revolutionary War. Trois-Rivières continued to grow in stature throughout the period and beyond. In 1792 it became the seat of a judicial district, and in 1852, that of a Roman Catholic diocese, the Diocese of Trois-Rivières. In 1908, the greater part of the city of Trois-Rivières was destroyed by a fire in which the majority of the city's original buildings, many dating back to French colonial years, were destroyed. Only a few were spared, including the Ursuline Monastery and the Ditonencourt Manor. As a result of the destruction, a major redesign and renovation of the city was undertaken, including the widening and renewal of many of the city's roads. As well, many new businesses and industries became established in the town, which attracted many new residents. 
In the 1960s, Trois Rivières undertook a large-scale project of economic diversification, including the establishment of several cultural institutions and attractions. The old city of Trois-Rivières was declared an historic sector in 1964. The Laviolette Bridge, linking Trois-Rivières to Bécancourt and the south shore of the St. Lawrence River, was opened officially on December 20, 1967. Finally, in 1969, the city appeared on Canada's academic map with the establishment of the Université du Québec at Trois-Rivières. Known for its chiropractic school, its podiatric medical education and its excellent programs for primary and secondary school education. Although historically an important center of commerce, trade and population, Trois-Rivières has relinquished much of its earlier importance to the two major cities of Quebec the metropolis of Montreal and the capital of Quebec City. It does, however, remain one of the principal medium-sized cities of Quebec, along with Saguenay, Sherbrooke and Gatineau. The Sieur de la Violette, founder of Trois-Rivières. The La Violette Bridge is his namesake. Architecture in Old Trois-Rivières. The front of the Ursulines Monastery, on Rue des Ursulines. Municipal reorganization on January 1, 2002, the former city of Trois-Rivières along with its neighboring towns of Cap de la Madeleine, saint Martha du cap saint louis de france Trois-Rivières-West and the municipality of Pointe-du-Lac, were combined to form the new city of Trois-Rivières. Cityscape The city's a main thoroughfare is Boulevard des Forges an area several blocks long in the heart of the old town composed of century-old buildings housing a great variety of cafes, restaurants, clubs, bars, and shops. In the warmer months, the area is regularly closed to vehicular traffic to accommodate various festivals and events, turning the downtown core into a pedestrian mall. Notable landmarks include the Forges du Saint-Maurice, a foundry dating back to the 1730s, the Ursulines Monastery, and Notre-Dame-du-Cap Basilica. Economy Trois-Rivières is Canada's oldest industrial city, with its first foundry established in 1738. The forge produced iron and cast for 150 years, much of it being shipped to France to be used in French Navy ships. The first port facility was built in 1818 near Rue Saint-Antoine, and today handles 2.5 million tons of cargo annually. The first railway was built in 1879 to support the growing lumber industry. The city was known as the pulp and paper industry capital of the world from the late 1920s until the early 1960s. The city once had five mills in operation. Today, there are three mills left operating. The closures due largely to a decline in newsprint demand and globalization. The closures were not limited to just the pulp and paper industry. Trois-Rivières experienced an industrial decline in the 1980s and 1990s. With the closure of several textile mills, with unemployment rising to 14% in the 1990s. Trois-Rivières is attempting an industrial revitalization by establishing technology parks and taking advantage of its central location to both Montreal and Quebec City, its university and port. An example of the new economy is Marmon Incorporated, which manufactures wind turbine towers and employs 1,000 people between its operations in Trois-Rivières and Matane. The city's other prominent industries include metal transformation, electronics, thermoplastics, as well as cabinet making and the production of food crops. An industrial park adjoining Trois-Rivières Airport serves also as a major center for the aeronautical industry. Climate The area has a humid continental climate. Winters are long, cold, and snowy. The January high is minus 7.1 degrees Celsius, with lows dropping to minus 20 degrees Celsius on 27 nights per year and to minus 30 degrees Celsius on 2.9 nights. Snowfall averages 259 centimeters, with reliable snow cover from December to March. 
Summers are warm, with a July high of 25.5 degrees Celsius, though highs reach 30 degrees Celsius on 5.5 days per summer. Spring and autumn are short and crisp. Precipitation averages 1,123 mm, and is the greatest during summer. Culture Trois Rivières hosts the Festival de Trois Rivières, a 10-day summer music festival which attracts in excess of 300,000 visitors annually. The city also hosts the Festival International de la Poésie, an international poetry festival, as well as the Festival International Dance Encore, and the Metal Fest de Trois Rivières every November. In 2009, Trois Rivières was designated as the 2009 Cultural Capital of Canada for cities having a population of 125,000 or more. Trois Rivières is officially the poetry capital of Quebec, and numerous plaques displaying poetic verses are installed throughout the centre of the city, and its International Festival of Poetry honours this title. Demographics Prior to amalgamation in 2001, the new city of Trois Rivières was divided among six municipalities. The largest visible minority groups in Trois Rivières are blacks and Asians. Municipal population, pre-amalgamation age structure 0 to 14 years, 16.1%, 15 to 64 years, 68.6%. 65 years and over, 15.3%, religious groups Catholic, 93.7%, Protestant and other Christian, 2.7%, no religious affiliation, 3.3%, administration. Since its incorporation in 1845, the city has had 36 mayors. The mayor presides over the Trois-Rivières City Council. Sport Trois-Rivières has an internationally known racetrack named Circuit Trois-Rivières. The track hosts American Le Mans Series, SCCA Pro Racing Transim Series, NASCAR Canadian Tire Series, and the Star Mazda Series events. In baseball, Trois-Rivières is represented by the Canadian-American Association of Professional Baseball's Trois-Rivières Eagles which play their home games at Stade Fernand Bedard. In ice hockey, Trois-Rivières is represented by the Trois-Rivières Blizzard of the League Nord Américaine de Hockey, which play their home games at the Cola de Trois-Rivières. The city is also the site of the only remaining paramutual harness racing track in Quebec, Hippodrome de Trois-Rivières, which currently operates live standard bread racing from May through October. In 2014, the Hippodrome has resurrected the Prix de Té, a once major Canadian race for four-year-old pacers that had been contested in Montreal until 1992. Transportation Local bus service is provided by the Société de Transport de Trois-Rivières. The La Violette Bridge is the only bridge across the St. Lawrence River between Montreal and Quebec City, therefore it provides an important Connection between the north and south shores of the river. Known for its impressive structure, its elegant aesthetics, the bridge has become a major landmark of Trois-Rivières and the Maurice region. Approximately 28,000 vehicles cross the bridge each day. An airport also serves the city. On April 8, 2014 during morning commute an SUV fell into a giant pothole in Trois-Rivières caused by heavy rain accumulation. Nobody was injured during the incident. Media Inland Islands The St. Quentin Island lies at the confluence of the St. Morris River and St. Lawrence River in the city of Trois-Rivières. It is with islands, St. Christophe and de la Poterie, the origin of the name of the city in reference to the three-channel that the St. Morris River forms at its mouth with the St. Lawrence River flowing between two islands. It owes its name to the judge said Quentin Morrill, said St. Quentin, fur trader and one of the first dealers on this island. It is now a center of popular outdoor activities and relaxation at the hearth of city. 
The patron saint of the island is Quentin de Rome. It was first inhabited by an Algonquin tribe that there was corn. Thereafter, the October 7, 1535, Jacques Cartier planted a cross on the island proclaiming sovereignty of French on this territory. The natural environment of the island St. Quentin remained virtually unchanged. It remained virtually unused from 18th century until the end of the 19th century. From the 1930, the recreational aspect of the island became important. The island belonged at the time to Quebec Savings and Trust Company Limited and the Canada Power and Paper Corporation was the subject of a bid from the city in 1933. But it was not until November 3, 1947 that the land is owned by the city. Meanwhile, it served as training camp for the Royal Canadian Navy. Services were gradually introduced in 1950. The park and the beach on the island St. Quentin were officially inaugurated on June 24, 1962, in the presence of 5,000 people, when there were over 100,000 visitors. Since then, the island welcomed many facilities, including a marina, a bike path, an interpretative trail, an ice rink and a camping. Several happenings and festivals are held annually on the island. Notables Jean-Victor Allard, first francophone chief of the defense staff. Steve Bedgen, NHL hockey player. Jean Belivor, retired NHL hockey player for the Montreal Canadiens, inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1972. Marc-André Bergeron, NHL hockey player. Guy Bertrand, radio TV personality and CBC French radio and television official linguistic advisor. Pierre Boucher, 1654 Governor of Trois-Rivières, Quebec, Canada and the official interpreter and agent to the Indian tribes. John Comley, politician. Jacques de Noyon, worked in the fur trade as a coureur de bois. Medard des Grossiers and Pierre Esprit Radisson, explorers, fur traders, founders of the Hudson's Bay Company. Maurice Duplessis, former premier of Quebec. André Dupont, former NHL hockey player. Madeleine Ferron, writer. Gerald Godin, politician and poet. Annie Gruvier, children's book author. Jean Gru, an original settler of Trois-Rivières with a national monument localized at his original farm, Cooley Gru. Aaron Hart, businessman. Ezekiel Hart, entrepreneur and politician, and the first Jew to be elected to public office in the British Empire. Simon Keane, super heavyweight boxer who qualified to represent Canada in the 2012 Olympics. Claude G. Ledroit, federal liberal politician, building contractor, businessman. Félix Leclerc, songwriter, worked in a Trois-Rivières radio station. H. M. Argera, Indo-Canadian filmmaker. Marta, a technical death metal band. The New Cities, a Canadian rock band, notable for their song, Dead End Countdown. Jean Nicolet, French-Canadian explorer. Guy Slain Raza, president of the Trois-Rivières Heritage Society, one of the first internet celebrities. René Robert, former NHL hockey player. Jean-Guy Talbot, former NHL hockey player, an arena with his name. Eric Terriaux, comic book artist and writer. Luc de Signant, the only French-Canadian to start as quarterback in the Canadian Football League. Denis Villeneuve, a French-Canadian Oscar-nominated film director. Henry Whitman, linguist. Mikhail Zevsky, light middleweight professional boxer. Sister City, Chateau d'Anne, France, Tours, France.